Now your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Kevin Dew. Well, highs for our Friday mainly into the upper 80s and lower 90s across the state line. 92 is the high today in Rockford, 93 in Janesville. 78 degrees is the normal high for the day, but now we're down in the 70s across the area. 75 is the current temperature in Rockford, and we're down to 73 in Rochelle and 74 in DeKalb. And for those of you in Dixon, 75 currently. And despite seeing those really high numbers there for our highs, it really didn't feel all that bad out today. We had dew points in the 40s and lower 50s in a few spots, and that means that our humidity was around 20 to 30 percent. So it was very dry out there. So there really was no heat index, and there was also a pretty good breeze out there as well. So that made things feel rather comfortable for most of our day. But this heat is going to continue with us at least for a few days. Now, the biggest reason for this heat is this pattern in our jet stream. Up toward northwest, this sort of overarching pattern, or this ridge as we call it, also known as a blocking high, this particular pattern is what's responsible for the warm weather, not just for us here in the state line or even just in the Midwest, but across pretty much the whole central part of the country. And as this jet stream uh, advects a little bit further eastward and we eventually get a little bit more centered with this pattern here, we will continue to see that warm air flowing into the state line. Now let's take a look at some highs across the region today and let's focus up to our northwest. Parts of the Dakotas here were in the hundreds today and they're the ones who are uh, situated just to the south of the center of that ridge. Bismarck reached 106 today, 102 in Fargo and that is uh, some record heat that they're seeing in parts of the northern plains. Now we're not expecting highs in the hundreds but we will continue to see 90s at least for the next couple of days. Here's a live look over downtown Beloit using our Mercy L sky track. We're now out of daylight. We're still seeing those clear skies that we've been seeing all day though and as we saw temperatures are still pretty mild out there. So clear skies continue on as we head on through the evening and once again not just for us but for pretty much the whole region because the same pattern that is bringing us the very warm weather is also bringing dry and sunny conditions or clear conditions to pretty much the entire region for the time being and that is going to hold true for at least another day here if we look at it with our future uh, cast clear skies are going to continue on through the night and through tomorrow as well so we're expecting lots of sunshine for our Saturday and then through the night between Saturday and Sunday we'll likely see a few more clouds move in especially heading into the Saturday afternoon we're going to see a few more clouds push in from the south and that's when we will see a slight chance for one or two light passing showers to wrap up our weekend. Now tonight temperatures are going to be dropping into the middle to upper 60s thanks to those clear skies otherwise we'd probably be staying in the 70s but still it's very warm considering this time of year our normal lows are in the middle 50s. Tomorrow we are back in the 90s and we're actually going to be approaching some record heat tomorrow. We're forecasting 93 here in Rockford and the record for tomorrow June 5th is 94 degrees. That was set back in 1934 so we would get awfully close to breaking that record if we don't at least tie it or break it come tomorrow. And then Sunday we are expecting 90s for at least one more day as we're back in the lower 90s and that will make four days if we do hit 90s both tomorrow and Sunday. That will make four consecutive days in the 90s. That already exceeds the normal amount of 90 degree days that we see throughout the month of June in Rockford. The exact normal is 3.9 uh, 90 degree days through the entire month. If we can actually exceed that number before the end of the first week of June, that's pretty impressive. Then temperature is going to cool down just a tad heading into next week. We do see rain chances increase as we head into the middle of the week, but temperatures are still going to remain above normal. We're talking middle to upper 80s through the end of the week.